What's up you guys, it's your boy Next, back with another video. Today we're talking about consistency. So consistency and discipline is the secret weapon of champions. What do I mean by that? With consistency and discipline, you can achieve anything in this universe. Truly anything, nothing is out of the realms of your ability to grasp if you're able to be disciplined and consistent every single day and work for it. The problem is a lot of us get tired. A lot of us get, we let we let fatigue, like I'm, you're gonna get fatigued, you're gonna get burnout, but we let that like stay with us day after day. Like I get fatigued, I get burnt out sometimes and I might go a day without posting. But if you look at my YouTube channel, that next day, if I don't post for a day, that next day I'm posting twice. And then the next day after that, I'm posting twice again. And I'm gonna keep on going, you feel me? Cause I understand that no one is gonna come save me. No one's gonna come save you. No one's gonna make your dreams happen. You feel me? Nobody's just gonna give me a million subscribers on YouTube. It's not going to happen. I have to wake up and make a video every single day. I have to provide value for you guys. I have to be relatable for you guys. You feel me? Even with on top of everything I'm doing, I'm in the army. I just finished PT. I still got to release my video. Like it don't matter. Nobody's like, there's no excuses to be had. And that's the problem with a lot of people nowadays. Everybody has an excuse. Everybody want to talk about why they can't do something. Talk about why you can. Talk about why it can happen. You feel me? Like, don't let the negative self-doubt, self don't let the negative, your, your negative perceptions of yourself ruin your life, ruin your potential. Because that's what's happening to a lot of people. I got a friend, one of my good friends that's happening to him right now, and I'm trying to beat it into his head that you're capable, bro. You're capable of achieving your goals. You're capable of being this great person that you imagine yourself be when you was younger, you feel me? When you was five years old and you imagined how would you be as an adult, what did you imagine? Are you that? If you're not that, then that's your potential, you feel me? I'm not saying that you need to be a multi-trillionaire right now, because I know a lot of like five-year-olds think that, but you know what I mean? Successful, you feel me? Successful, um, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. That's where I wanted to be. So that's where I made sure I am right now as a 24-year-old grown man, you feel me? I always used to imagine myself as a soldier. So you know what? I was like, you know what? It's not too late. I'm gonna join the army. So when I was 23, I joined the army, you feel me? Like, point is you're capable of so much more than what you think. And even if you made mistakes in the past, it doesn't mean that you ruined the rest of your life. Just because you made past mistakes doesn't mean that your life is over. It doesn't mean that you're out of the game, you're not. You can hit a step step back three and still win the game, you feel me? All it takes, one, uh, excuse me. One one thing I seen on the internet um, the other day that made complete sense, all it takes to change your life, especially in this day in 2024 and up, is one really viral moment. And yes, I've been seeing a lot of people go viral for stupid stuff and then they want to get rich. Like the hot two girl, you feel me? Like I'm not hating on her, you feel me? I'm glad that she got rich. It's good to see people come up in the world. But like she said hot two on camera that she got famous as, as crap. And then now she, she was making millions and millions of dollars like that. It takes one viral moment and I'm not trying to say, oh, try to go viral or try to do some dumb stuff. But point is, like, I'm trying to go viral with my motivational stuff. I'm trying to go viral with my music. That way, when I do go viral, because I would go, I'm going, I'm going to go viral eventually. If I keep on taking jump shots, I'm going to make one of them. You feel me? When I do go viral and I do change my life, like, it's all going to be worth it. I'm going to build the type of brand I want for myself. You feel me? But that takes every single day consistency because, like, every video I get is not going to get a thousand views. Every video I, I mean, every video I make is not gonna get a thousand views. Every video that I release is not gonna even get a hundred views. But guess what? The more I keep on releasing, the more consistently I'm getting 50 views, then a hundred views, then a thousand views, then 10,000 views. And it's gonna keep on going up. No, it don't happen overnight. That's another problem. Instant gratification is ruining a lot of y'all's life. Like, you want it now. Oh, you wanna you wanna be rich now, you feel me? You don't you don't know how to grind, keep your head down and disappear for one year straight. You don't know how to do that. You're not willing to do that. And that be your problem right there. You too focus on women. You too focus on drugs. You too focus on keeping up with the Joneses. Always trying to buy the fucking designer item and all that. You feel me? Why you always gotta wear designer? You don't got money like that. Why you trying to look rich? Cause real wealth don't freaking don't a lot of real wealthy people, like if you go you go around a lot of white people, like you go to like Dumbo, New York, where a lot of like low-key wealthy people live, right? These people, they don't people not freaking wearing wearing Balenciaga every single day. Like that's such a that's such a toxic trait that my people got. 
Like, they're not wearing Balenciaga every single day. I'm not gonna act like I don't wear Balenciaga and shit like that. But the point is, I'm not buying, every time I buy clothes, I'm not buying designer. I might buy a nice shirt from Sheen. And that shirt gonna be nice. And I'm gonna dress it up and I'm gonna look good in it. You feel me? I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses. Cause people don't give them, people not gonna care. Even if you wear Balenciaga, they still gonna think it's fake. Some people still gonna be like, nah, he probably got that from Goodwill or something. I don't know. I had, I bought a pair of Balenciagas for $1,150. You feel me? And plus tax. No, I'm not even sure if I paid tax, but I know it was $1,150. Over, over 1100 for a pair of sneakers, one pair of sneakers. And guess what? I still had one of my family members be like, yo, we get those. Trying to say it was fake. You feel me? Point is, the haters are going to hate no matter what you wear. You can look fresh or you can look like a bum. So you might as well do what you want. Don't spend all your money on designer. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Try to mess with every single girl you meet. Get you one nice girl. And if even and sometimes you don't even need to be dating because you don't deserve to be dating because you don't got enough money. What happens if Shorty get pregnant? Huh? What happens? Tell me. Let me know. Because you don't have no money to take care of the kid. Like that's besides the point. But consistency and discipline is truly the weapon of champions. That's what champions use to become champions. Hard work, dedication. Like Let's use Mayweather for example. Like I, I like motivational clips of Mayweather. Like he running, hard work, dedication. He used to like he had a crazy lifestyle, and he still used to go to the club. And he'll leave the club. He'll run to his hotel just to get that cardio in. You feel me? Like you can still have fun in life, but you still have to be disciplined. He still was disciplined in all his goals and all his ambitions. So he became arguably the greatest boxer of his weight class of all time. You feel me? I don't know if he's the greatest boxer of all time. I don't know if he's not. I don't really care. But I'm talking about what he accomplished in his life. Because you can't act like what he accomplished in his life isn't great. No matter what you think of him as a person or none of that. I don't pay attention to none of that. I'm just talking about like true success. How to achieve true success. Right now, I'm achieving true success on YouTube. Simply by being consistent with you guys. Meeting you guys. Commenting back when y'all comment and support me. You feel me? Releasing my content. Releasing my music. Like, working hard. Like, getting better at this app. You feel what I'm trying to tell you guys? Like, forget all the bull crap. Like, forget all the excuses. Forget everything. All that stuff is holding you back. All those negative views. All of that is holding you back. Like, it's time to really put in the work. It's time now to believe in yourself, bro. For real. You don't want to be woulda, coulda, shoulda. Oh, I should've did, I wish I could've did this. No, you don't wanna be wishing you would did something different when you was in your early 20s or early 30s, however old you are watching this video. You gotta use the present, because the present is a gift. It's a cliche thing to say, but the present is a gift. If you're alive, you have a chance. You have a chance at greatness. If you're watching this video, you have a chance at greatness. Don't let that shit fly over your head. Don't let him think, oh, he's just trying to motivate me if I can like the video. No, I'm spreading this message. There's a reason why I'm, I could have made any type of YouTube channel in the world. I could have made a gaming channel. I could have made just a pure reaction channel. I could have made a pure just like female nature videos. Cause I post a motivational video like this. Half of the time it don't get a lot of views. I post a video about women that just get 5,000 views. That shows you that a lot of these, a lot of these men out here, their priorities messed up. I'd rather watch a motivational video than watch a freaking, um, my bad, I forgot I saw the group chat for some army stuff, but I'd rather watch a motivation video than watch some stuff on female nature. I'm not trying to watch that all the time because I'm not focused on females all the time. I linked, I linked with my girl the other day, this rest of the, this week until literally nine o'clock Friday. I'm not linking with no girls. I'm going to be doing DoorDash. I'm going to be releasing my content. I'm going to be fucking studying because I'm taking this army class for CLS. It's like this med medic type thing. I'm not an army medic, but it's like, it's something to do with medics, it's to help them out. But yeah, y'all. Like, I'm not playing around with my goals. I'm being consistent every single day. Forget all the bull crap. Yes, I'm flawed. I just hit a whole vape in the camera. I'm flawed. I'm not saying you can't, can't be flawed. We all make mistakes every day. I made some mistakes in my life that I feel ashamed of. I think back and I'll be like, why did I do that? I wish I could go back and punch myself in the face. Make sure I don't make that mistake, but I did. But it's not the end of the world and I realized that. And I stopped hating myself because of it, because I made mistakes. You're truly capable of success. You're truly capable of greatness. Get that in your head. 
How many times I have to tell you guys that? I be getting people texting me, telling about, telling me how they hate themselves, all types of stuff. Like, why do you hate yourself? You're an amazing person. No, you're not perfect. Just because you're not perfect doesn't mean you're not amazing. A lot of people's amazing in their own right. Tap into the greatness that you have inside you, inside of you. Because I know you have greatness. Everybody do. Every single super successful person that all these people be looking up to, I don't care who, who it is. It could be Jay-Z, it could be The Rock, it could be, I don't know who to bring up, Harry Styles, whatever super duper successful person you thinking of. They all started out as regular people, 99% of them. We're all just regular people. We're all just people. When we just be honest, we're all just human. They don't, like, they might can sing, they might can do something else. But your hard work and consistency, you could get just as wealthy as them. I'm gonna be just as wealthy as them one day. Real life. No one's stopping me. No one. I got God by my side, I got me by my side. Reason why I say I got me by my side? Cause I'm making the right decisions finally. I'm making the right decisions for my life, for my health, for my potential. And you should too. Let me know if you agree with this video. Let me know what, if you understand what I'm trying to say. It's time now to truly believe in yourself and work hard for your goals because no one's going to do it for you. I love you guys. I thank you guys for all the support. Peace, y'all. Look, oh, um, yeah, I know it's hopeless, but you got to keep going. I be so stressed while making my future, so I be smoking. Uh, I got a business, but at least my merch, now I got to promote it. Uh, niggas be talking and hating and watching, more like a story. Uh, yeah, I know it's like to have big dreams and don't even feel that you have a chance. Different my people that's down on yourself. You look at the power that sits in your hand. Start small, you don't have to rush. Well, little step, then you can expand. Nothing to lose, but so much to gain. So some of your strength and take you a chance. So give up for what? I know I could do it if they can. Make you some bread, retain it. No one be working, everyone's blaming. It's all up to you, don't worry about them. You know that your pockets on banking. I need a new type of paint. This is the money we make. Yeah, I know it gets hard. You will see nothing changing. Just count on your blessings, you still alive, don't start the complaining Just work on your shit for a series of years, you gonna obtain it I see that you anxious, you just gotta be patient Better follow your dreams, or you'll regret it Create new world, yeah, fuck what they say, don't have to suppress it Look, why they making excuses, they're looking forward, steady progressing I feel your depression, then he goes obsession